Hi guys, welcome back. Those who are new, let me introduce myself. My name is Nidhi and I'm a Delhi based makeup artist. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do makeup step by step. I'll teach you how to apply foundation, the brushes that you need to use to apply your foundation, how to contour your face, how to apply a blusher, uh, basic eye makeup, mascara, everything. Basically, I'll take you through this full face makeup step by step. So this is a look that I created. This is a very everyday or an office going makeup look. And uh, I usually just take like 5 minutes or 7 minutes to do this makeup. The products that I've used in this video are very very basic, very light, medium, uh, light coverage foundation, nothing too heavy or nothing too much. This is, as I said, this is just a day makeup look. So let's go through the video and I'll teach you everything step by step. So keep making your notes or just come get your makeup kit and get ready with me. Okay guys, so the first step is to make sure that your face is absolutely clean, there is nothing on your face. Now the second step is obviously to apply a bit of moisturizer. The moisturizer that I'm using is this. This is something that's just recommended by my dermatologist because I have a very dry skin. Just gently massaging my face with this moisturizer. Don't forget your under eye area also, make sure you moisturize this. Now if you have an oily skin, that doesn't mean that you skip a moisturizer. You need to just find the right moisturizer for your skin. Moisturizing the skin is very important in everyday skincare routine also. So don't ever skip a moisturizer. Alright, so if you want you can just let this sit for 5 minutes, this is what I like to do, I just leave it for like 5 to 10 minutes, let the skin absorb it completely. So since we are waiting for, the, for our skin to absorb the moisturizer, might as well just do the eyebrows till then. So just filling up my eyebrows, I have another video in which I have shown step by step how do I fill my eyebrows, if you want you can watch that. So I'm using this eyebrow pomade from Benefit. Eyebrow pomades come in different shades. You know how you choose your eyebrow pomade depends upon your hair color. So and you have to select this very carefully. I am done filling my eyebrows. You can see they look very natural, nothing over the top, not those boxy eyebrows. Some people like to fill their eyebrows in this, this part also, like the starting part also. It looks more like a tattoo but I don't like to do that. So this is how I keep it. Let's go on to our second step which is applying a primer. So the primer that I'm using is this color bar primer. So what primer does is basically it provides a nice layer, a smooth finish to your skin before you start applying your makeup. Also it makes your makeup long lasting. So if you have if you have pores in your skin, if you suffer from that problem then you have to have to apply a primer. So because if you don't apply a primer and just directly apply foundation, your foundation will go inside your pores it will settle down there and it will clog your pores and of course the skin also won't look very smooth so don't forget to apply a primer let's go on to our next step which is applying a concealer so i'm taking this ellie girl pro concealer in shade pure beige this is how it looks so just applying it under my eye Some people do have pigmentation around the mouth area, so then make sure you apply the concealer here as well. Now with the help of a concealer brush or a foundation brush, a flat brush basically like this, just dabbing the concealer. So this is how you hold the brush, you don't hold the brush closer to the 
bristles you hold it somewhere here closer to the tip and then very gently you just keep pressing the product onto your skin So if you don't want to use a brush, another way of applying concealer or foundation is this beauty blender. So you get a lot of different types of beauty blenders in the market. You'll find some on Nykaa. Um, the one that I'm using today is from Pack. I will mention it in the description box. So here yeah, usually this is how the beauty blender comes. It looks like this and you can see it's very hard right now. What you have to do is you have to keep it under running water and then it becomes and then squeeze out all the excess water and then this is how it looks. It becomes nice and soft, easy way to apply foundation or concealer. Make sure that you take out all the excess water. It should just be damp like just damp beauty blender and just keep moving it and keep blending the product on your skin. I'm applying a little bit concealer on my eyelids also because my eyelids are really dark. So yeah, there are these small beauty blenders also that you get in the market. So and I usually like to use this for my under eye or the skin around the eyes. But Let's go on to a second step which is how to apply a foundation. Foundation that I'm using today is this L'Oreal foundation and I'm just using a very light coverage foundation because the look that I'm showing is basically an office look or a daytime look so I don't want to use a very high coverage foundation just using this. Now again very important thing on how to choose your foundation. Well, you should always apply the foundation here on this area. Usually when you go out to buy a foundation, people, you know, like those sales girls, they put the foundation here on your hand and then they show you, make you check the shape. That's not the right. Because the skin of our hands and of our face are totally different. Make sure that you apply the foundation here on your face, on your hair, on your jawline or somewhere here on the neck and then just keep blending it and see if this is the correct shade for you it has blended so well on my skin it's not looking too dark or too light it's just the perfect shade for me so i'm going ahead with this foundation just giving it a little shake and i'll apply these few drops here all over my face can use a foundation brush there are different types of foundation brushes that are available in the market there is one like this I really like this one it's a nice round brush uh, this is from Pat again Pat 003 and the other one is this flat brush this is from Real Techniques so this one is both these brushes are available on Nykaa so let's use this flat brush today also beauty blender is another way of applying the foundation but let me just apply it with the help of a brush and then we will blend it properly with the beauty blender so right now like painting i'm literally just painting my face You know, when you apply the foundation with the brush you will see like this side you will see there are these lines that are visible so we will blend all of that with the beauty with the beauty blender applying it a little bit on the eyes also under the eye if you want you can apply on the neck also but i'll just skip that okay so the beauty blender is here i am just now dabbing the beauty blender and just blending everything so that there are no lines and no foundation marks on my skin. Okay. It looks perfectly fine and it 
just looks like my second skin there's not too much foundation going on here also guys um if you think that you can use a lighter shade of foundation and try to look more fair well that's not going to happen you will eventually start looking gray after a while so please use the correct shade of foundation so once this is done the second step is to just set everything in place so for that we'll be using a powder the powder that i'm using is from in lot it's a loose powder you can use a compact if you want to somehow i like using a loose powder so this is what i'm doing i'm using i'm taking a brush like this a powder brush this is how it looks now don't use a beauty blender for this purpose you have to use only a brush to apply a powder all over your face so i'm just taking a little bit in my brush just taking out all the excess powder and applying a little bit under the eye basically this is just to make your foundation and your concealer stay on your face i think that brush is too small to use all over the face i just use it under the eye i'll be taking a little bigger brush now in some dipping it in the powder and applying it all over the face Again, apply this with very light hands. There should be no pressure at all because then you will end up shifting your foundation. You don't want to do that. You just want to fix it in place. Okay, now the next step, which is contouring the face. This is completely optional. You can skip it, but I just want to show it to you guys how I contour my face. So I am using a bronzer. This is from. benefit it's called hula and this is how it looks it's a completely matte bronzer there's no shine absolute and that is why i love to use this for my contour because again it's not too dark it just gives a very nice natural contour to the face so using an angular brush like this this is the line that you create to do the contour it should start I keep the brush here at the starting of your ear and just take it towards the lid. So this line is where you contour. So this is just below your cheekbone. Here. So what happens is with contouring, your face starts looking much more slimmer, sharper, and your cheekbones get uplifted. So this is how you use it. This is the direction in which you go. You go towards the ear and not the other way round. If you want, you can just suck your um, cheeks inside like this. So then you can actually see the line where you need to draw your, where you need to contour your face. blend because you don't want a dark brown line on your face right so let's go on the other side yeah so this one going to be very open your contour okay and i said this is a very very light contour and If you have a larger forehead, then you can contour your forehead also here, like this. I'll do another video actually in which I'll just talk about contouring because contouring is very very important, and there are different types of contouring for different face types. So I'll make another video for that. But here, this is just a very natural contour that I'm showing you. Also, if you have a double chin, then you can apply some contour here. Now comes the nose contouring. 
if you this is absolutely your wish i just like to contour the nose especially when i'm filming a video so um, taking a small angular brush like this and we draw a very very thin line here this should also go and touch your eyebrows don't leave it here this should go all the way up touching your eyebrow and blend it For the blusher, you need a fluffy brush like this and just taking some blusher and again just little above a contour is where you apply the blusher. For this step, you can just smile and apply it on your cheeks here. How beautiful the cheek looks. I just love this pinkish glow on the face. I think a blusher adds so much, um, what do you call it? it, makes your skin look so nice and healthy. I think that's it, I won't apply too much. Um, so yeah, I think my face is already glowing after this blusher. But if you want, you can apply a little bit of highlighter. I will show you how to apply a highlighter. So just take a little product on the fan brush. And this is where you apply your highlighter right on your bone. It looks so nice and natural. The eyes again, let's just keep our eyes very, very natural because it's a day look. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will just take some nude shades from the palettes and apply it on my eye. Um, real, I have another video on my YouTube in which I have shown three basic steps to apply an eyeshadow. So you can watch that but right now I'm doing nothing crazy just taking like a nude shade like this and applying it all over my eyelid. You can use your finger also for this purpose. I'm just using a flat brush. You can even take a blending brush like this and apply it on your crease. Highlighter, take a small brush and you can just apply it on in the inner corner of your face. So this will just open up your eyes a bit more. If you have small eyes, this is one technique that you can use to make your eyes look a little bit more bigger. For the liner, I really don't feel like applying a proper like a gel liner or a liquid liner. So what I'm going to do is again taking this Kajal pencil. I'm taking a brush like this. This is an angular brush. I'm just taking some product on this on this angular brush product, and now I will just line it like create a little line here like a shadow. Started somewhere from here and applied it all the way to my outer corner. I'm leaving the inner corners very blank and nude. Just doesn't look like a liner yet. It is giving that shape to my eyes. My eyes are not looking very blank with this. So this is something that I like to do. So if you don't have time to apply an eyeliner, try this. Okay, okay, let's go on to the next step which is applying a mascara. 
Now before I apply mascara, I always like to curl my lashes. This is an important thing girls and you need to learn this. So let's go ahead and learn how to curl your lashes. This thing is called a lash curler. Hold it like this. Lift your eyes if you want to. Now you just have to put the lashes in the curler. Look down. Okay, once you have the lashes in the curler, you just keep squeezing it or pumping it for like 10 seconds or something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you just leave it there sometime and just press it. And can you see the difference? I don't know if it's visible in the camera, but this definitely looks so much more curled and this looks very, very straight. So again, something to learn. Don't get scared. Okay. Now, since the lashes are curled, we'll apply the mascara. Look down when you're applying the mascara and this should be a movement. Just keep moving your hand hand upward like this if you end up spoiling your eye makeup because of mascara don't worry there is no need to panic just let the mascara dry and then with the help of your bud or q-tip whatever you call it you can just take out the dry mascara Another way to apply mascara is to just stretch your skin and look down and apply. apply some on the lower lashes also. So here we're done with the mascara now. I've applied some in the lower lashes as well. Great. So one thing that I forgot we'll do now, which is applying a little highlighter here on the brow bone. When you apply a highlighter, the highlighter should be on this point only, only on the brow bone. Please don't get the highlighter starting from here. Okay, this is the point where you apply the highlighter and it just goes in this direction towards the outer corner. So now I'm moving on to the lipstick part. I'm using a lip liner first. So this one is from Pack. It's the shade is Hello Pink. Now for the lipstick, I'm just using a very nice nude shade. I am just obsessed with this shade guys. This is from Nykaa, it's called Bomb Bay. This is my personal shade, I don't share it with anyone. I don't like to share my lipsticks with anyone. So I am applying it directly but if you do share your lipsticks, then please take a lip brush to apply it and even if you're out somewhere and you have to end up using someone's lipstick because you forgot yours then make sure that you use like your finger or something to just dab it on your lips instead of just directly putting it on your lips from the wand because then you end up putting this wand in the lipstick so I think um, Hygiene wise, it is not something that is recommended. See how beautiful this shade looks and that's why I said I'm just obsessed with it. I uh, will mention all the products that I used in this video in the description box below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. So yeah, this is it for today guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all 
very very soon till then take care of yourself take care of your skin eat healthy and drink lots and lots of water